<laughs> if you're washing your makeup brushes and they look like that, I'm trying to get into the light. Okay, if that's the colour that's coming off them, can you see that? Uh, it was probably time to wash them a couple months back. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna start off by apologising for how bad the light is in this video. I meant to do it, I meant to like record this a lot earlier, but um, I've basically spent most of today like fucking around and watching movies. It's like, uh, I don't know, like half four or something like that here now. And it's already getting pretty dark, so <laughs> the light is gonna be shit in this video. I apologise. How's it going? I uh, hope everybody's doing well. I've had a bit of a bit of an up and down week, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I changed my hair colour again. The last time that I did a video, I was putting pink in my hair and I had it pink for like three days and then I was like, I don't really like this. So I lightened it again because eventually I'm always going to lighten it again. And then I used box dye. Shh, don't tell anybody. I'm supposed to be a hairdresser. Um, <laughs> I used box dye to like lift it up to this peachy colour. It's like a peachy pink. I really like it. I don't give a shit if it balds me. I do give a shit if it balds me. I don't want to be bald. I just get head tattoos. I've been listening to Tattoo. Who remembers Tattoo? Oh, all the things she said, all the things she said. I apologise for that. I've been listening to Tattoo. Anybody who's like, uh, remembers Tattoo, go back and fucking listen to them now. They're so good. Incredible, weird, Russian pop. Walk around in, in like cold weather listening to it. You will not regret it. It's so, so good. I'd forgotten how good they were. And obviously they're singing from the point of view of two lesbians most of the time. Or, well, at the very least, two girls who are together. Because there is one of the songs where the girl's like, Oh, do I go with this guy or do I go with this girl? I don't know what to do. They both love me and I don't know what I want. And part of me is like, hmm, is that just perpetuating the, the, you know, the bisexual stereotype that, you know, they're going to leave you for a guy eventually? Or is it, you know, an actual problem that some people who are bisexual face. Interesting. Not a problem that I face, obviously, because, you know, rather than, you know, being caught between a girl and a guy, I'm essentially caught between um, my bed and some cats because, you know, I only like get asked out by people every eight to ten years. So I'm, I'm still kind of like um, about nine and a half years to go before that happens. So I'm not going to worry about it for now. It's about to snow in Northern Ireland. If you're jealous of that, eat a dick because I walk to work and I'll have to walk to work in the snow and I'll fall down and die. So, you know, remember me fondly. I don't want it to snow. No, I wanted it to snow at Christmas. Why does it have to snow over here at this time of the year? It's like, we've had snow at fucking Easter before. You know, Easter's a time for chocolate eggs. Easter eggs are the best chocolate. Christmas chocolate's great, but Easter egg chocolate, there's something about it. I think they like lays it with crack. Pretty sure. So the salt cat was really sick this week, guys. Um, on Saturday night, I was asleep on Saturday night, and poor Salty woke me up yowling in pain, and I was all freaked out, and I was like, what's wrong? And she was having a really bad bout of, like, cat cystitis that's brought on by stress, and I'm pretty sure it's because, well, one, because Gingy loves her so much, and he's always trying to, like, be your best friend, and she absolutely despises him, and it's starting to stress her out. We're going to have to just try and keep them two away from each other a little bit, or him away from her, at the very least, since she never goes near him. And also, our downstairs neighbours are pretty loud, um, and I think it's annoying them, so I'm going to have to get some of that Fellyway stuff and like drug them into submission just to like give them peace and quiet but um we we woke up and we were like oh god she's really ill what are we gonna do and I rang the out of ours vet and they were like yeah it's gonna be 168 quid for the call out fee alone and I was like oh my god what am I gonna do but luckily because I've got so many cats and there's always something happening I had some cat pain killer here so I gave her some of that and we took her to the vet the next day and she's gonna be all right but it was really scary for a little while because she's getting on she's like 14 now I was a bit worried about her imagine my videos with no salt cat purring away in the background, which is not doing right now because uh, my friend Kim bought me a tripod for my phone so I can record better videos um, and I'm going to do a little collab with her at some point so I'm going to think of a good thing to do. Maybe a Q&A, maybe we'll ask each other questions but like really, really daft questions, not like what's your favourite colour, but like really invasive personal ones because that's always hilarious. My niece turned 13 this week, which was fucking scary because although I remember the day she was born, I somehow don't remember the aging 13 years alongside her. So yeah, I don't know what's happened there, but we had a really great day. I took her up to Belfast for the day and we like basically went and bought everything that we wanted in Belfast. And we bought loads of lipsticks and makeup and all this kind of stuff. She's just really starting to get into all those sorts of things and I'm like, finally my time has come. And I can spend all my time like 
convincing her to like wear all the colors that I can't really wear anymore because you know they age me now. Now I did buy myself like a, a neon green lipstick. Neon green is one of my favorite colors because it just makes me think of Frankenstein. Like well okay Frankenstein's monster but you know it's just one of those things um, and I bought like a neon blue. I don't know why I'm gonna wear these things. I mean it's not like I can wear them to work or anything but like if I'm going out which you know I never do but if I was to go out I could like ombre them with black because when I do go out I generally just go to like goth clubs and stuff because you know normal clubs are shit and I hate them so. I also bought this and I like anybody who's into comics I know this has been out for a little while but I wasn't prepared to read it I'm I'm not sure that I'm still I'm still not sure that I'm like emotionally ready for this and I know that they could always bring him back, you know, they can always do that. Like, they've done it to Jean Grey so many times in comics. But it's still going to be crap to read. Look, I got The Death of Wolverine. Mm. Mm. I love Wolverine. I love Wolverine so much. Um, I mean, who doesn't? I already know what the storyline is because it's been around for so long that I've, you know, I've heard about it and stuff. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready to read it. It's like Dumbo. I wa every time I watch Dumbo, like I'm a grown woman now, but every time I watch Dumbo, um, the bit where he goes to visit his mother in the prison, I literally sob my heart out even now. And I've seen it hundreds of times. My family have actually banned me from ever watching Bambi. I've never seen Bambi. I never saw the Aristocats because I was worried that one of the, the cats in it would get hurt or die and then I would die. Um, but I've been told quite a lot recently that that doesn't happen and it's a really good film so I might watch that soon. So The Death of Wolverine, that was one of my purchases. Um, there were so many other comics that I wanted to buy and basically it got to the point where there was too much choice and I was like I'm just gonna have nothing because I can't decide what I want to buy so I'll maybe just wait till my next payday and then buy a whole load of them rather than just choosing one because you know issues as it were. I also bought new makeup brushes as you saw at the start of this video. If you don't wash your makeup brushes for the guts of a year they eventually become solid and you can use them to like lay foundations of buildings because they're basically cemented together. I bought new ones but I actually washed the old ones um, and they've come up really well so that was probably a waste of like 30 quid but you know you can never have enough makeup brushes. I also went for sushi this week um, when I was with my niece uh, as her as her dinner treat for her birthday we went to a sushi place there's a really lovely sushi su blah, 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 blah. Ah. <laughs> doesn't that look like when you're gobbling cock ah. there's a really lovely sushi place in Belfast called Sakura and it's really really nice but we were in Forbidden Planet and Yo Sushi was like right opposite us and we were like, mmm, sushi, let's go for sushi. Shall we just go to Yo Sushi because we're here? Um, we were a bit like, mm, is it going to be like shit? Because, you know, it's really orange inside. Everything's really bright orange. And we were a bit like, okay, this looks tacky. It could be like Tesco grade sushi. But we went in and we got the menu and in the other place you can have like a big plate of something that you've ordered yourself or you can go to the sushi train but in new sushi and I imagine it's the same everywhere because I think it's a chain there's just a sushi train that goes round and you can have that and you can order little plates of stuff rather than like a big meal of stuff so we ordered a few different things that we wanted to try and then we just grabbed stuff off the um, sushi train as it went past oh my god oh my god it was so good I can't stop thinking about the sushi it was like the highlight of my life so far and they had desserts as well and I got green tea matcha Swiss roll with fresh cream inside and I literally cannot get it out of my mind. It was so, so good. I love it so much. Um, and I'm definitely going to go back and have it again and I'm wondering like would it be weird if I went in and just ordered like loads of that and no sushi. So I'm going to go and see Rogue One tonight. I'm really excited to see it. I know I've heard, heard some people say that it's really good and I've heard a couple of other people say that it's not so good. So I don't know. I mean, I'm not hard to please when it comes to films unless it's based on X-Men, in which case I'm like, no, in the storylines it went like this. Um, and then I get really pissy and annoying. But with most other things, I'm, I'm actually okay. Um, and I'm just happy to like watch movies. I know I'm a little nervous because you all know how I hate to go to the cinema when it's too crowded and there's too many people, which is why I've left it so long to see Rogue One. Somebody just knocked my door. Mm, I never answer my door. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna answer it. I'm not gonna answer it. Um, but it is getting really dark over here now, so I'm gonna go and get dressed for the cinema 
Um, I'm out with my Star Wars t-shirt like a total nerd. Um, they knocked again. I want to answer it. It was my, my new neighbour. He can't find his electric meter. So anyway, I'm going to go. That's my report for the week. I am hoping to do some more vlogs for you guys soon. Um, maybe with Chris again because he's good fun and we have a lot of fun together. So yeah, um, have a good week. Uh, like and subscribe. I don't know why you would because these are literally just little video diaries of myself telling you all the shit that I do. But you know, like and subscribe. And if there's anything you'd like me to make a video about, let me know. Not porn because you know, I have my other separate porn channel for that. Or do I? I thought of something else that I wanted to talk about. Um, and the light's still shit, so uh, it's like it's really dark outside now. So I'm using my bedroom light and it's still shit, so I'm sorry. But um, did any of you see that thing in the news this week about how, I think it's Maybelline, have a guy as their new face of makeup and stuff like that? I was absolutely thrilled. I love when guys do their makeup. They generally do it a lot better than I do. Um, I actually think that I don't look too bad today. But that could be because I use new brushes and not ones that were caked with like 30 years worth of old shit on them. But uh, there's been so many people who have a problem with it and they're all like, ugh, disgusting, sick, you're vile. Why do we have to tolerate this kind of bullshit in society? And it's like, F calm the fuck down. Let people wear what they want to wear. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure that makeup was invented for guys millions of years ago. Okay, that's a slight exaggeration. I'm pretty sure that makeup was worn by guys originally, like, years and years ago. And, like, has anybody forgotten the 80s? I mean, I don't understand why people are so pissed off about stuff. If you don't want your guys to wear makeup, then don't be friends with guys that wear makeup. But you don't have to literally come on to their, um you know, on the, like, Facebook and onto the posts about it and complain about it. Like, what difference does it make to your life? Just, it just irritated me and I remembered that it irritated me after I'd finished filming um, and I wanted to have a little bitch about it. So I decided to film something else and I'll slot it in somewhere that it makes a little bit of sense in the context of the video, even though I'll suddenly have changed position. Um, because, you know, that's how professional I am. Um, also just want to tell you guys a little funny story um, that I accidentally just tried to, I think, video chat with someone. This is a thing that I didn't realise that you could do until recently. I'm not sure if you've been able to do it for a while or not. But you can vid chat with people like through Facebook Messenger. Someone tried to do it with me a while back and I was like, I don't do that shit. Um, which is funny because I do YouTube videos but I won't talk to people on Facebook Messenger. But generally because when I do my YouTube videos I've done my face. Um, and I feel like I can be seen by the world. But... Um, most other times I look like actual hammered shit. So I won't answer the phone to you if you're going to be able to see me. That's the very worst thing, like, ugh, without warning. But, um, yeah, so I was, like, holding the phone and I hit the button and it was going brrr, And I was like, what the fuck is that sound? Um, and I, you know, I was so panicked because, like, it's someone that... I have only like started to know recently um, and I don't know them very well and I was like oh fuck they're gonna think I'm psychotic trying to like vid time them or whatever it's called and I had pure panic and just switched my phone off. You know it's like when your mum walks into the room and you're watching porn you switch it off just switch everything off. Why am I talking about porn so much today? Anyway so back to our regularly scheduled programming. Uh, have a good week, guys. Uh, I'll report back and let you know what I thought of Rogue One and The Death of Wolverine, if I manage to read it. I might just put it in the freezer for a week. Snicked.